Hi, everyone. Hello. We're here for theories. Part, I don't even know. I don't even know what theories is. Part. It says 16, 17. 50. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We have found one. It's probably leaning in my direction. An L, um, what is it? Um, El Real. It's been a long time, guys. <laughs> We were describing What's or wrong? describing. We were saying in one of our last videos for what is it? A shadow it. in the ember that we've had a lot going on. I know we say that every time, but really like we had ER emergency visits. Um I have surgery coming up, which I knew was coming, but it yeah, came up sooner. It was just than, a lot. So we, we really couldn't get on here and, and film anything. Um but we are back and I just wanna say one of our um, followers asked for us to do what we would like to see happen yes. in the Akatar world, which we uh, we do plan on doing. So we're going to do it maybe before do the it, end of the year. We could maybe do it sooner than later. Yeah. We I thought maybe it. it would be good end of the year kind oh, of yeah, that's um, a good idea. recap. We will put out what we want um, and we will f put out what we think oh, will that's happen. That's a good idea. Maybe we'll do it closer um, to the end of the year. Yeah. So... We do plan on doing that, so if when you watch this, don't worry, we will. Let's see if we can um, get theories keep coming up. Yeah, I mean, we, we've found a lot of other good theories. Uh, so I have a lot that we can keep going on my um, Azrael underscore Elaine Instagram. They keep putting up theories. I found some, too, on Gwenriel. So maybe you grab those, and I'll keep grabbing these, and then we'll just kind of see what they're saying yeah. about it. So, um, yeah, yeah. Has anyone's mind changed? No. Like, I'm... No, I'm talking to you. I know your mind. But has anyone's mind changed? Like, have you guys, like, kind of, like, heard, like, if you were in El Real or Gren, uh, Gwen Real, like, have you guys heard anything that's changed it? I mean, or, you know, Lucian and, and Elaine and Lucian and Vasa, you know, like, because, I don't know, there's some things, like, other than, uh, listen, I'm like El Real. That's not going to change. But there are some things that I see with, like, Lucian and Vasa. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Know? For sure. Uh, Tamlin and oh gosh, what's her name? Briar. Briar. Yeah. I, I mean, like, we've we've come to see a lot. Has um, anyone's mind changed on Tamlin? I don't know. I mine. I think yeah. I think he I deserves think it's a redemption, redemption arc. But I don't know if anyone else. Agrees. I don't think he's as bad. At, I mean, he's not. He's a jerk, and yeah. he's there's a lot of assholes. Not, yeah. So I mean, we we don't deny that, but I. I don't think he's as bad as everybody. We've always said they need be. therapy. They need therapy in this world. We always say that. Yeah. He has room to grow, which he needs For to grow a lot. Sure. Okay. So let's Anyways. get started. So this one is Sunlight, Shadows, and Humanity. Okay. This is from, I believe, a Tumblr user off to, yeah, Tumblr, off to Rivendell. Now she makes sure we, we got to make sure we tell her like, cause she does not want this shout stuff out. out. We have to give her a shout out. This is from her Tumblr off to Rivendell. You guys can go find it. And she hasn't, you got some stuff from her previously. So she has some stuff on here. So we're going to kind of read this and I didn't type it. I'm going to do a Sarah. She's doing me. I'm doing a Sarah. <laughs> so please forgive me if like, I can't see or I lose my spot or cause I like big words and I like my paper so I can follow. So we're going to forgive Danielle and um, be happy with me. It just depends on how well you do. I know, but we're going to forgive her. I felt like I did terrible last time when I was like doing all my own. So. And then I get like, like not I'm not really nervous, but then like when I'm reading to people, like I mess up words all the time, like where I, when I'm in my head. You know. She's like, Sarah, is this how you say this? We butcher <laughs> things all the time, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so this is Azrael Elaine. Sunlight, Shadows, and Humanity. Again, this is from Off to Rivendell. And it says, disclaimer, these are my own inter um, interpretations and obviously not canon. Though I though I do think that the text supports Elaine and Azrael ending up together. So she's not necessarily, I don't think, I mean, maybe she's a little more Azrael um, um, Azri and Elaine, but she says she just thinks this more supports them being together. I don't know if she's a full El real. Yeah. But this is her interpretation. We might find out more as we read, too. What is TW? Um, Mention of, okay, because this says TW. This is probably, we're probably going to be really stupid. You guys are probably like, come on, guys. <laughs> TW, mention of canon childhood abuse. <laughs> what is um, trigger warning. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. <gasps> You're so smart. I got it. I got it. I know. 
How did you get I that? I've been sitting here trying to think. I'm well, when you said that, I was like, oh, I trigger warning. Like too old. Oh, yeah, and it does say mention of shot at cannon. Oh, my God. Forgive me. I shouldn't be doing these. <laughs> like, what is TW? You should see me when all you guys write those. Um, um, okay, I know what WTF is, but I saw WTH. Oh, what the hell? Ah! Oh, God, mind blown. <laughs> That's what kid would say. I just was like, what is the WT? That, that's what I do. I always go, I don't get this. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're back. I, honestly, though, I, I don't really get them all either. But if you read it and then in context, I'm like, oh, okay. That's what it means. Yeah. I was just was like, what the beep? So I thought, oh, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We go, we, so, we go as, we, we, we figure it out as we go. We we figured out with you guys, so we look stupider. <laughs> <laughs> a stupider a word, more stupid. Yeah, our mama killer. <laughs> our grammar teacher mother. Okay, so this says this might be a stretch. I know, or maybe it's already been discussed. But Sarah J. Moss tends to choose her words carefully, and I can't I remember agree. Reese and Cassian ever being described as human. Only Azrael. To me, this is is significant, which is true. I would agree with that. And we all said, I mean, we say this over and over, and I don't know if it's we say it because we don't know if you're a new viewer to us, but Sarah J. Moss never puts things out there without a reason. She always has, like, she, you know, sprinkles her little crumbs, everything. So I agree. I do agree um, with that, um, Azrael being more human of the group. Yeah, um, he is more, he's more, he's kinder. Um, he's the kindest out of all of them. I do believe. Um, yeah, I, I totally agree with that completely. Yeah. So, I agree. yeah. Okay. In a court of, uh, frost and starlight, um, favorite clashes with Elaine after Elaine once again is uncomfortable around a visiting Lucian and flees the room to make tea. Remember how Elaine at this time was kind of really not doing well after, mm -hmm. you know, turning Faye and she was kind of in her little like slump. You yeah. know, she's not doing great. T seems to be important in Elaine's story too, but more on that in another post. Okay, it says, her mouth tightened, the only sign of anger in her graceful countenance. I don't want a mate. I don't want a male. She wanted a human man. That's Feyre in Frost and Starlight, and that's mm -hmm. from chapter 18. I remember that. Um, we know Azrael is obviously not a human man. He is, in fact, a, ma a male who may or may not be her true mate. I hope they're not mates. And this would kind of lean to like, if she wants something more human, like, you know, the mating thing. I don't know. I just feel like well, this she's would be a little so more. stuck on Grayson too. So I don't want Azrael and her to be mated. I want it to yeah. be different. I, I finally do, want a I... non-mated. I want chosen love. I do think. Even um, if it went with Gwen. I think yeah. I would rather them just choose love than be mated. Would yeah. you? Yeah, if, yeah, because I, I, right? yeah, I mean, I think Asriel and Gwen are mates, but I want Asriel and Gwen together, so I don't know how many times Sarah's going to do say, this mate thing. Okay, that's what I'm saying, like, let's say so, that yeah, I would they agree. are endgame Gwen real, okay? Yeah. Which I brought my mind around, I won't hate it, like, I'd rather it be El, El real, but I, I like Gwen. So, okay, let's just say it goes that way, I would prefer to see it still be a chosen love over a mated love. We've seen the mated life twice. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't know how many times Sarah's going to go with this mate. Especially because it's supposed to be rare. So. And she almost did two relationships, one after the other, mated. It would have almost been maybe better to do, like, casting and Nesta, like, chose love. And then do this mate. Like, just to switch it up a little bit. But she did two and two. So now I'm hoping this will be a, yeah. a chosen love. Which might mm -hmm. even be more romantic. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so it says... Um, where did I end? Okay. A male who may or may not be her true mate. I've got my fingers crossed for, um, gosh, I'm going to probably butcher this. Karnem. Karnem. <laughs> what is that? What is it? Go look it up. Uh, Karnem. My phone's on that. Mate. <laughs> not mate. Oh my God. We're so stupid. Okay. We'll have to wait and see. And it's unlikely that Sarah J. Moss would have him and Elaine turn human as part of their story. But he did live in almost constant darkness for his first 11 years. So seeing, experiencing sunlight must be a huge deal mm. and a comfort for him. 
So much so that his shadows don't feel the need to remain visible at these times. You know, and that's what, that was always one of my things I've said to you. Like, you know, a lot of the Gwen, Gwen Real fans will say his shadows disappear like before more and um, Elaine because they're, they, they don't like her or something, right? And yeah. they dance with Gwen. But I have always said on the other side, what if that's him at peace? And that's what this is kind of saying. I mean, you could, you, I get it. You could yeah. go both ways. You could totally see how, well, you know, the argument is, well, the shadows are a part of him, so they don't need to disappear. Correct. Or, but then you can see, so, like, they do disappear, he is at peace. So, so I, can see I think it can make sense both ways. So say yeah. it ends up being an Elreal end game, it makes sense. You guys will all go, oh yeah, they were at peace. Okay, that we've, you know, and if it goes to Gwen, Gwen, Gwen Real, it'll be like, oh, they are afraid of her. I think both of them are valid. And can make sense going either way. Mm -hmm. I think we'll agree like, okay, yeah, that yeah. makes sense, you know. Azrael led me towards the lake edge. In the blinding sun off the turquoise water, his shadows were gone. His face stark and clear. More human than I'd ever seen him. There's no chance that I'll be able to fly in the legions, is there? I asked, kneeling beside him as he tended to my skin, my skin palms and ex with expert care and gentleness. He's always so gentle, that Azrael. The sun so was sweet. brutal against his scars, hiding not one twisted rippling splotch. That was in Akawar in chapter 29, and that was Feyre saying that. Um, Feyre con uh, conflated, did I say that right? Conflated as looking human with the following terms. Stark, severe or bare in appearance or outline. Clear, easy to understand, interpret or perceive or transparent, unclouded. He is like a sweet guy. I think he, out of all of them, has the most tender heart. That's why I think he's my favorite. I do too, and he's so sexy I love Reese. Too. I do love Reese. He's probably well, my Well, I mean, I don't want to say I do too, because right now we haven't heard Azrael, so Reese is still up there for me until I hear Azrael. But right now I'm more excited. Reese is like on the back burner. I'm like totally for Azrael right now. I like, I'm just Well, like, I mean, he everything we hear and see, he's just, he, he rescued Gwen when she was raped. Uh -huh. um, he rescued Elaine. Um, he's just always there and well, taking care of people. And he's just, and I don't know, because he's so, like, he's so a man of few words. You can yeah. tell he's that person. Look what he's done with, you know, even helping Nesta train and yeah. stuff. But, you know, here's my thing. We haven't seen a lot of Azrael and Gwen together. So it's not like we've seen how he will be with her. But what we have seen with him and Elaine, when Elaine is in her own world and not talking to anyone, he goes with her. I've always said that must be boring to sit in the garden and go talk about garden gardening. That would not be my thing, like in all flowers. But the guy does it. Yeah, he's you so know. Sweet. Even if it was like a friend thing with Elaine and As, that's he so just shows what a good guy he is. Ten, like kind like, hearted. Oh, so and friend thing. I like. <laughs> It could be, yeah, no, and I'm saying, but, like, yeah. if we had more Gwen, he would be the same way, mm -hmm. and I don't care if he ends up with, if he ends up with Gwen, he will always be like, he'll have to go to the library and sit there and watch Gwen, if he ends up with Gwen, it'll be the library he'll have to go to and sit and, yeah, he'll be like, <laughs> he can't win, on either one, the library or the flowers, on one end I have gardening, <laughs> on the other I have to sit in the library, <laughs> but, like, it's true, like, let's say he goes with Gwen, he and he's end game with Gwen, mm -hmm. He will still always be so sweet with Elaine. And if he's with Elaine, he will be sweet with Gwen. That's just his nature. Yeah. I, I feel like either way, it's going to be hard for him. Um, I mean, I think he'll always care for each girl. I think um, have a hard choice. I mean, I, we don't even know if Gwen and him. But it just, you know, it, how it's perceived, yes. We think I, there's going to be some triangle. Um, and I think it's going to hurt him to hurt either one. I think my bosoms just showed and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I saw that all there. I was like, oh, the, the ladies. Your ladies are coming out. <laughs> my ladies. Um, yeah, I, I agree with that. And I, I mean, but that's with everything he does. Like he's just really a gentle soul. And I like that about him. Okay. Elaine is frequently described as the sun or glowing, etc. And as the scars are symbolic of the cruel, cruelty and abuse that he experienced at the hands of his Fae family as a child. They're so mean, those people. You know, I just reread that book and I just was appalled again. You know, it's funny how like you're like, oh yeah, that's right. Um, applied to a potential aerial relationship, the above passages could indicate that Elaine, the son, sees all of Azrael, which I would agree. Plus, you know, she has her like seer abilities. I, I think she does really 
see him. Remember how she said beautiful to his scars and stuff? He is laid bare, understandable, transparent to her. We know from Azrael's bonus chapters in Silver Flame that he and Elaine don't seem to need words to understand each other. It sounds like someone who sees him for who he truly is could help bring him out of the dark, which I do agree. I think, but I think Gwen could do that too. I mean, and listen, I want El Real, but I think Gwen has that kindness. I think that she could also bring him, Yeah, you know, especially if she's like a light singer, like a good light singer, you know, like I think, I mean, yeah. I think he needs that. And I think he needs a healing. I think one of these girls will do that for him. I yeah, do. I agree. Interpreting Azrael's shadows and their behavior in this way, that they disappear when he is feeling comfortable, secure, and or happy, suggests that not only will Elaine bring him out of himself, but that she also makes him happy. The only other person we have seen, or we have seen his shadows vanish around is more with whom he has previously, he was previously in love, but he's slowly been moving past that ever since he met okay. Elaine. Was I, he really in love too? We don't know. My is thing is, and I know that we kind of, the only thing with the shadows disappearing, I know we kind of went over this already, is even with Reese and Cassian, his shadows don't disappear. Mm -hmm. And he's comfortable around them. Those are his brothers. But do you so, think it's ever, because he always has to be on guard though? No, I mean... I mean, I get what you're saying. I, 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 see I guess what you're the saying. shadow thing, mm -hmm. like, I just was, I was thinking about it and I was like, well, I don't know. I know, like, yes, it could totally be true. He's probably totally at peace with the woman he loves. Like, whatever. Like, if that's Ariel or Elaine, okay. I, I can see it. I can see that, that side of it. Mm -hmm. But I was just thinking, I was like, well, I mean, with Cassie and that's his brother and Reese, they are still there. The, the shadows, because that's. But it, I mean, and I actually get what you're saying. You get what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, okay. I do. I think that so makes Sarah, sense. So Sarah, I feel like she's done such a good job at making us guess, like, are they at peace with Elaine But and maybe, more? but he's still, Is it supposed even, to be a part of him? But it also says, even though those are like his brothers and he loves them and like he is like more comfortable with them, it also says like he still has like a darkness to him. Right. Yeah. Even though they're there. So maybe that's why the shadows are there. And maybe one of these girls will be the one to heal him completely. And if it's Elaine, maybe that's why his shadows disappear because it's more of a love, a difference. Yeah. You See, know? I like, that's the thing. There's mm -hmm. so many ways. Like, I mean, you could totally argue it each way and it makes sense. I mean, he's great. He loves his friends. They've healed him in a certain way, but, and like helped him get through things, but maybe a love will be what really heals him. And that's what takes his shadows away completely if he needs to. I, I don't know. I'm just saying maybe that's what it could be, but I do get what you're saying. Yeah. I think that, that that's what sense. I was just thinking, but what, I don't know. Okay. Says Azriel arrived first, no shadows to be seen. My sister, a pale golden mass in his arms. He too wore his Illyrian, Illyrian armor, Elaine's golden brown hair snagging in some of the black scales across his chest and shoulders. He set her down gently on the foyer carpet, having carried her in through the front door. But Elaine did not balk from him, did not shy away as she nodded, just once. Azrael, graceful, graceful as any courtier, I, did I say that wrong, courtier, Offered her an arm. I couldn't tell if she was looking at his blue siphon. Cord <laughs> courtier. 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 A quarter. Like. Like, like a, a courtier. Courtier, isn't it? It's not courtier. Quarter. I don't think. Quarter. It's not quarter. Is it? No, it's like. Like, um, I know what it means. Yeah. But like. Now you're getting it. Like, me. A courtier. Like a, he's quarter. courting her. Courting her. Around. Yeah. I know what it means. I just don't say it right, baby. Um, and it. Sorry. <laughs> looking at his blue siphon or at his scarred skin beneath as she breathed beautiful that was Feyre in Akawar on chapter 24 which is the other thing that um we saw from when they first in the second book when they first come together in Mist and Fury when they first come together at that dinner she was kind of comfortable with Azriel. Remember at first, like yeah. they were all scared that the Fae are coming in and they're like, all this stuff is going on, but she was okay with him. They even like semi talked a little bit. She mm -hmm. didn't balk from him even then. So I do feel there's something there. That's a calming presence for her. Yeah. You I know, agree, yeah. especially since, you know, she's scared of Faye. Grayson at this time is in her life. All this type of stuff. There yeah. is something that's calm, calming to her with Azriel. 
The shadows have felt the need to keep as comforted around Elaine from the start. He carried her, or sorry, did it say, oh, I'm sorry, haven't, did I say have? The shadows haven't felt, I knew that sounded weird. The shadows haven't felt the need to keep as comforted around Elaine from the start. He carried her in through the front door of the townhouse and she called his scars beautiful. We are being told something and someone will possibly, possibly be gifted the townhouse. Azrael's bonus chapter in Silver Flame, the most recent book, and thus the most current indication we have of Sarah J. Moss's intent, also have a passage that, just, that describes the necklace that he bought for Elaine in such a way that it appears that the necklace is representative of him, though I think it is also connected to Elaine too. The golden necklace seemed ordinary, its chain unremarkable, the amulet tiny enough that it could be dis dismissed as an everyday charm. It was a small flat rose fashioned in stained glass, fashioned of stained glass, designed so that when he when held to the light, the true depth of the color would become visible, a thing of secret lovely beauty. It's beautiful, she whispered, lifting it from the box. The golden fae light shone through the little glass spot. Why are you laughing at no, me? No, I just am good. Do I bother I you? No, I was just laughing. I'm not laughing. I'm just like, oh, we hear that word again or that phrase. Oh, gosh. Setting the charms glowing with hues of red and pink and white. Do you want to laugh again? No. Azrael let his I'm shadows. You. <laughs> Azrael let his shadows whisk away the box as she said softly, "Put it on me." Do I sound like Elaine? Oh, his, I'm like. <laughs> his head went quiet. He took the necklace, opening the clasp as she exposed her bare, sweeping. Uh, uh, sorry, exposed her back, sweeping her hair up in one hand to bare her long, creamy neck. That's Azrael. So that. silver flames. And that's his bonus chapter. Once again, we have something whose we have something whose true depth will be exposed by the light and the vulnerability required. For that is wait, for that is then mirrored in the way that Elaine bared her neck to him. Mate behavior? Of course not. Winky face she has. If this is the correct interpretation, then as is symbolic giving himself to Elaine. Not only that, but the colors mentioned in the rose are absolutely significant. Red, passion, passionate, affection, love. Pink, admiration, joy. White, purity, loyalty, innocence, new beginnings, hope, and a shared secret. Red and pink says I love you. Red and white, unity. Here's the problem. It's now going to be in Gwen's hands. Oh, that's, yeah. That is the problem I, I really here. can't wait for that scene to be like, oh, she has my necklace. That and then is Gwen's the like, what do you Now mean? you can say these colors, signif or, you know, yeah. go to Gwen. Can oh. you imagine Azrael standing there? Like if that were, if like Azrael was there and oh, they see so the trouble. necklace, he's like in the between them and they're like, oh. and, she, and Gwen's like, well, what? He gave me the necklace. He's going to be in so oh, much trouble. Oh, wait, no, no, because she doesn't, she probably won't know who gave the necklace, but well, it was gifted to me. She won't. No, I know. That's what's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. Elaine's going to know that necklace was for her. And then Gwen's going to be like, <gasps> like that. You what? You gave me your second hand thing. Like, oh, it's going to be. Oh, I love it. I can't wait. You can't gave wait her my necklace? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, she, and then Elaine's going to make sloppy seconds. Oh, oh. this is going to be amazing drama. Oh, my god. Drama gosh. City. I'm ready. I'm ready yeah. for it. I'll have my popcorn. Sloppy seconds. <laughs> At least I got it. That's what she'd say. <laughs> She's like, at least I'm in game. I hope not. Okay. Azrael's confr uh, confronta confrontation with Reese after his almost kiss with Elaine set up a situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it did. Where he and Elaine will have to see each other in secret if they decide to proceed. Oh. At least for a little bit they will. And then it'll be they or that like settles I mean, uh, down. The thing is, is that, I, I mean, that would be really good drama if that were the case. Um, yeah. And I, 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 I have said it over and over. I do think there's going to be a love triangle. I do Reason think he's going to hook up probably with both girls. This might need to be more than I, one book. I'm not, I'm not saying that he won't be with either. I think it's going to be like, who am I going to choose? That's where I think it's going. Well, I'll, that's where I think it's going. But... Okay. Potentially, even if Elaine rejects her bond with, with Lucian early on... Um, it says Burson would likely still consider it an insult, even if Lucian doesn't. 
And the colors in the necklace perfectly foreshadow this event, um, eventuality. I'm in, I'm in, in, I'm intentionally not discussing the third part of Azrael's bonus chapter and what happened with the necklace. She's intentionally not talking about Gwen. Just so you know. But thank you. Um, where She's am I not at? a Gwen real. She's an L real. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm intentionally not discussing the third part of Azrael's bonus chapter and what happened with the necklace, as I truly believe it was a misdirection to generate interest for the next book. And very well played. I agree. Actually, I've said that too before. I think this is just to get us like, <gasps> and oh my gosh, I agree. But I do kind of think there will be a little like fun on the side between the three of them. Not together, but. Furthermore, I do think it's to throw us off. I've said that before. I know, but I don't. Furthermore, Cassian even thought the following about more in Silver Flame. She never stopped appreciating the sunshine. Even 500 years after leaving that, ver that oh God, vertebral prison she'd called home and the monsters who claimed her as kin, his friend, his sister, honestly, still savored every moment in the sun. As if the first 17 years of her life spent in the darkness of the hewn city still lurked around her, like as his shadows. That's Cassian Silver Flames chapter four. Sarah J. Moss has had Cassian mention Moore's upbringing in terms that, that are equally up, um, applicable, applicable to Azrael's own childhood. I know, you guys must think I'm stupid. Call her, call her, um, call her his sister for the first time, as is his brother, in much the same way, obviously, minus that and then brings it all back around to Az once more with a direct comparison of the darkness of the hewn city to Azrael's shadows. It is not, it's not subtle at all, and it appears to be telling us that Azrael both needs and wants to be free of the darkness. Not the darkness that represents the night court, but rather the darkness that his past has left him with. I agree that with any way, um, with any direction this ends up. I agree with that. He wants to be free of that. Like of his shadows? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I just, darkness, he needs to heal in general. He'll always have his shadows, I think, and for the work he does and stuff. But I think he wants peace and healing no matter which way he go, it goes. Due to his childhood trauma and his and how his mother was treated, Azrael's not fond of Valeria, at least not so far in the series. And Reese has mentioned that he is different. Perhaps Elaine, son, perso son personified, will not need a human man, but a male who values her humanity. I wonder if it will help Azrael on his journey, much like I assume. Risky, I know, she says. That Azrael and Nuala and, and Saradin, Saradin, I think it is, will help Elaine discover herself and come into her own as part of her own story. But that's also another post. Azrael chuckled, shadows skittering. Did you listen at all last night? Silver Flames chapter 19. We were listening. So. That was an aerial post. Yes, it was. Um, <laughs> I was just kind of seeing what she says on this thing. But I, I mean, I think she there's makes some, some, points, some good points too. And like I said, I want Ariel. I wanted to go this and then this just makes it more validated for me. But honestly, I could see how some of it could be flipped. I think you made a very good point too. Like, um, what was your point? The shadow. <laughs> remember but your point was good I just remember I liked the it the shadows yeah that's yeah. just my thing like I do agree they're a with part you. of him it's who he is now at least mm. um and that was my point if they're out when Reese and Cassian are yeah. there I see what you're saying I just I would take it as maybe um even though he's comfortable he maybe he's not truly he needs more healing and not truly comfortable and these girls are going to be his healing path I mean if you think about it like how Reese was healed by Feyre Feyre healed by Reese yeah. Um, Cassian and Nesta healed each other. That type of stuff. Like, in different ways. But, you know, maybe that's what it means? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I can see a lot of I'm the curious. points with what she said for I sure. I am but. curious why more in it, why his shadows don't appear for more. I, you know, it, that that's where I can really see what they're saying about the shadows. Maybe he's at peace because more's. You know, Moore's not a bad person that we know of. I mean, we really haven't heard much of Moore. Well, so, and... I mean, there could be something. Um, but, Wait. I don't know. Like, yeah. So, for Moore, do you think his shadows don't appear because he, he loved her? I know she didn't necessarily... See, this is what I that, think. But do you think he was at more peace 
because he thought he loved her and he tried to lay bare everything and like or do you think I don't know if, this, if he can even do this but do you think he sends his shadows away when because he wants these people to love him maybe oh that's he wants more love so he's sending his shadows away he wants Elaine's love I mean clearly he wants I mean, Elaine right good, now different twist to think of it he as. wants Elaine so maybe he's like pushing these shadows away but with Gwen he doesn't feel the need to do that because he's not thinking of that he's thinking of oh you know he's comfortable he's he's comfortable around her maybe I don't know that I was just thinking that Stomach maybe that could I'm be hungry <laughs> she's trying to ignore what I'm saying <laughs> maybe not... that could be oh, he's yes. wishing or in his shadows are just giving him what he wants Okay, we'll go away while you... Because he wants Moore's love, but Moore's not giving it to him. He wants Elaine's love. Elaine likes him, but she's just not ready yet. So maybe he's thinking she's scared of the shadows. So he's kind of like, I think he away. definitely wants love in his life. And he wants it so bad that he's so overly hopeful. I think he wants the Feyre and Reese love and the Cassian and Nesta. Right. I think he does want it. And he's going to get it. I really truly believe that but I think he does want it so bad and I don't know I don't want to say he's jealous but you know how you're not jealous you're envious in a, bad way, but a little you're bit a little envious like yeah. a jealousy there you that get that wants. way it's not like, that why you can't I him. have that too type of I thing. want that yeah but that was one thing I was thinking of is maybe he's thinking oh they don't like my shadows they're scared of them so I'm gonna push them away um that's one reason uh I'm not just saying that because I'm a Gwen real but <laughs> <laughs> but that's what, I mean because if you think about it with Reese and Cassian his shadows are out all the time with Gwen they're out all the time with Nessa they're out all the time with Feyre they're out all the time but with Elaine and Moore the two girls that he wants he they're gone because he loves them yeah <laughs> but I mean and they love him the shadows are and a part of peace. him they're they're forever gonna be there it's yeah. it's what he when but he was when in he's that with trauma. His loves, he's at peace, <laughs> and it comes when he has to go to work. When he was at when he was in that trauma, these shadows became a part of him. He, you know, and with them, he's not in trauma, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. It's just it's thinking. back. It's back. To Tell me who agrees. It's back to pre tra traumatic days when the shadows came, and he didn't <laughs> need shadows when he's with Elaine. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, Sarah J. Moss is doing a great job at making us. She's, I, and I get, I get that Gwen could be a distraction. Like, I get it. I think so. But, like, we go back. Sarah, you know, we could also argue Sarah doesn't put things in. Yeah. These things. You're we right. We could always go back to that argument I, that everybody says. She purposely puts them mm -hmm. in. And I honestly don't think it's a distraction. I'm not saying that Elaine and As won't end up together. I just think it's more than. I just agree to throw with us her. Off. She purposely put it in to distract us, to throw us off. I think it's there's more to it. That's why. She, no. No. There's more to it. No. And I like you, Gwen. No. <laughs> <laughs> I really, Gwen Real and Ariel coming out. You know, we haven't really had our discussions where we'd be like, no, that's not it. Yeah. But I don't know. I just, I think it's a distraction. I really do. And I just saw on here, which we're going to have to do soon. What was it? I told you it was like, is illusion a spell? Oh, I've said it's fake. I've said it's been tricked. Maybe it's a spell. We will maybe be doing that soon. You can go. You can I have next. another. Yeah. I have a Gwen, I have a Gwen a, Real one. She'll be next on a Gwen Real. You can go yeah. look it up and then I will get back to me. That's so spicy. <laughs> Full of spice today. <laughs> well, this video is getting pretty long. Okay, we're done. We're done. That's what we thought. Or that's what we thought. That's what our video. What was our video on? What's it called? Shadows and humanity and love. Oh, anyway, that's it for this theories video. What do you guys think? What do you guys feel? I want to know. I think you're aerial lovers, right? Right? I, know, I, think we're, I think we have a good even base. I think we have a lot of fans that are, are fans. <laughs> we're not but we really all fans. need to get along. We have a lot of subscribers that are Ariel, and we have a lot of subscribers that are Gwen Real. Gwen, Gwen Real. We really do. Yeah. So a lot of them want to Lucian, you know. So, but yes, 
be kind. It's not that big of a deal. Like I said, at the end of the day, this really is a book. It's not real. And people do. And I'm not saying we haven't seen it personally on our channel. Like people. Uh, no, you guys us. are very kind. And I'm so thankful you guys haven't. And I, I appreciate that because I go on Tumblr and we've been on Reddit and you see people literally like almost, I mean, it's through typing, but fighting with each other. And it's like, you guys, it's not real at the end of the day. <laughs> I know in our minds, we, we have a warped sense of reality that it's real. Because I'm like, oh, no, these are my men. But it's not. And yeah. it's so silly, I feel. Don't fight about it. It's not really a big deal. It's fun to bicker. We bicker about it. But it's not we'll really. Tease, but yeah. It's not a real, like, fight. We never have fought over it. But all you guys, you know, on I'm so here thankful that you guys so haven't kind. been. Yeah. And be, are very respectful to us. And we appreciate that. So, <laughs> we just like to. We do go like, stop it, no, but yeah, it's never. That's not true. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we would love for you to subscribe. We would love for you to like this video. Um, send us anything that you want, you know, um, any theories on and comment to us because we'd love to hear what you guys think. And I know you guys are aerial level lovers, really, and I appreciate that. Over Gwen Real. Thank you. Anyways, we'll Gwen see you guys Real. later. Gwen Real. I'm really hoping it's Gwen Real. I don't know. I know. I don't know. I don't okay. know. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> bye. See you.